First, turn the monitor upside down. Right-click on the desktop and select Display Settings. Find Display Orientation. Select Portrait Flipped. And Save Settings. Use the included USB cable to connect one end to the back USB port. Connect another end to your PC. Joystick calibration is required when using the controller for the first time. The controller will shake during transportation, and the joystick position may not be in the center when you receive it. Next, I will show you how to use the joystick calibration. Keep the joystick in the center. Press Calibrate Joystick. Press OK. The joystick will then return to the center of the screen. Then shake the joystick left and right twice. After shaking, return to the center. Then wait for the calibration to end. At this time, the joystick returns to the center. Joystick in the middle of the screen, as well as the mouse pointer. The left and right movement distance of the joystick is the same. Joystick calibration completed. We can also make some other settings on this interface, such as adjusting light bar, or the speed of light bar. or the light effect or control the button light sun off or the light brightness After adjusting, click save The controller has 6 main buttons 2 side buttons 2 menu keys and 2 function keys Map the FGHJK, SL, and RU. The function keys mapping X and Z. You can configure the button mappings as you want. First flip the controller. Use the short end of the hexagonal screwdriver to clamp it on the rear nut. The tightness of the controller can be adjusted. Turn it to the right to loosen it, and turn it to the left to tighten it. Note that the screwdriver must be locked and hold the joystick when turning. After turning it twice, you can obviously feel that the joystick has become looser. After locking the nut, turn it to the left to tighten it. The adjustment amount of the joystick is very subtle. You have to feel it while adjusting it. If the controller light is not on, first unplug the cable. Then flip the controller. Then remove the base plate. Then connect the cable. Find the button that needs to be repaired, and turn the socket 45 degrees counterclockwise. Then pull out the button.
The bottom of the socket is the button light. If the button light falls into the button, you can take it out and replace it. After installation, plug it in counterclockwise at 45 degrees, then tighten it clockwise. If the button is stuck, first unplug the cable, then flip the controller, then remove the base plate, then connect the cable. Find the button that needs to be repaired, and turn the socket 45 degrees counterclockwise, then pull out the button. Observe whether the triggering of the switch is normal. If the switch is normal, you can check the button. Press the button from the front. After pressing the button, use your index finger and then to pinch the white part in the middle. Remove the button. Check the edges of the buttons for dust or bars. Flip the controller. Check the key receiving slot for dust or other debris. After the check, replace the spring of the button. Press and hold the button and push it back from the front. Then adjust the position of the spring. Test whether the button rebounds normally. Plug it in counterclockwise at 45 degrees. Then tighten it clockwise. 